Thanks. Good. <laughs> What's that? You should be a food critic, you know. <laughs> You should come out no, from the I, jungle I'm and be a food critic. <laughs> yeah. I see she is a food critic. Yeah, I mean, she can, do, she can say yes. what she wants. She's the guest. So. Customers yes. are the kings and uh, the... That's and the right. customers are always right, chef. Exactly. OK, two chefs, uh, two disappointments, two dishes, but only one winner. Keris, your verdict, please. I don't like either of them. OK. <laughs> please welcome Jean-Christophe Novelli. Yeah! Welcome, Jean Christophe. Is I'm, not, this... I'm not supposed to kiss you. We no. only, have, we, we only have five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just talk. Did you see Linda's joke she was doing in the break? Yes, I was. Yeah. Do you I think mean... French women do do that a lot? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that. Though. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Very well. Now we're looking for it's Daily Cook's Challenge. That's right. Uh, has, has it started? Is it? Is it start next week? When's it? Um, it started already. Um, this week, I believe. Is yeah. it? Okay. Month, yeah. and, and what's the whole premise of it all? I think what it is is basically two chefs per week, and uh, it's a huge, huge, huge uh, fight, basically. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so he's having a laugh over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very serious, it's very competitive. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sense of. Uh, um, Emergen emergency, if I may. Uh, if okay. I may Are say. you trying to impress a celebrity guest? Um, is that yes. the idea? We have uh, a guest every day. And um, we have to cook three different dishes. And the thing is, the, the limitations are enormous because it's only worth five minutes. Mm. And we have different budget, like one pan up to five pan. Imagine what you can cook with one pan. Mm. Um, I will not even go through my front door for it, you know. And it's, uh, but it's good. Uh, I've got a good uh, competitor, which is Aldo Zilli. Okay. And, uh, silly. I don't want to say more. <laughs> <Just watch it. laughs> and we have fun. And, you know, it's great. We we filming with uh, the prospect. Uh, production team, which is great with everyone. It's very comfortable. And so basically the celebrities come in and they give you, I mean, it's, it, it's not necessarily that they arrive like Ready Steady Cook with a bag of food. Um, it's their likes and dislikes and also intolerances yeah, and allergies. Right. You've got a whole lot of things to take into that's account. Right. And this, I mean, the thing is, I've got to be honest with you, I was very on prepare. Okay. Because I just arrived from Finland and uh, I was doing uh, something over there. And literally the day I arrived, I start filming. And, um, right. And um, obviously, I'm not supposed to say that, I just realized. Uh, <laughs> 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 made a mistake. <laughs> I'm going to be shot now. <laughs> All right, change the subject. <laughs> You've, you've, all, you've also got this cookbook out, Everyday yes. Novelli. That's so right. what, what is this? This is just quick things that we that can, anybody nice, can rustle up in the it's kitchen. It's a good book. I have to do. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cookbook, is it? That's well, a good that's start. <laughs> it's only for cooking. <laughs> 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 now, the thing is, this book... Um, can, can, can I see the book? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, because the thing is, what you're supposed to do is this. Okay? Then we can speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shall I? Yeah? No. no? No? Okay. You, know, you were talking about Aldo Zilli, and, and obviously there are a lot of sort of That's celebrity right. chefs, as we call them now. Is there a lot of competition, or do you actually feel that you, that, that you learn and are inspired by other, other people in your position? Always. And that's the great thing about cooking. I think it's the, the most amazing language or communication in, in the world. Because, for example, you know, so many things, so many things we do not know about spice, fresh herbs, you know, and... and, and even just local produce, mm -hmm. you know, and I still think there's a lot of people over there who don't have a clue that, you know, no far from where they live, there is everything they need. And it's cheaper, it's fresher, you're talking about eating healthy, you mm -hmm. know, what's the point to try to follow a diet, you know, spending hours in a gym and you've got everything at your front door. <gasps> <laughs> I was reading as well that you're, you're not a fan of, you were talking about what's the point of exercising and dieting, um, uh, you know, if you're not going to make use of local produce. You know, you, you're not a fan of these skinny celebs that we're seeing at the moment. You like a woman who eats healthily. <laughs> I think, <laughs> well, this is obviously my opinion, but <laughs> I think it's nice when there is a bit of a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> No. Of course, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think what is very important to understand is you can actually lose weight by eating correctly, eating fresh, correctly, 
Yeah. That means you enjoy more your food and you eat less. But don't you think that's true? Because honestly, after the war, when, okay, there was rationing to a degree, but people weren't obese like they are now because they ate m much more.